this is Noah Cuz. I'm back on the Split Mind channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how Southside makes hard beats for future from scratch. First, I'm gonna show you how I made the melody, and then I'm gonna go back in and make a beat around it. Most of the sounds in this melody are in my new analog lab bank, Antimatter. It's gonna be dropping on Monday the 16th. Everybody loved my last one, so I figured I'd drop another one ASAP. But yeah, let's get into this breakdown. So first, I'm just gonna play the sample. So you can hear it's super hard, super dark, and I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. So I started at 161 BPM. So this is the first sound that I used. It's gonna be in my antimatter analog lab bank. So this is really simple. It's just a D minor chord. And then I brought this minor third down to a minor second. And then I basically just stretched it out. You can see this first chord is a D minor. It goes for a bar. And then I brought that down to a minor second for the next bar. And then after that, I just duplicated it and then repeated it over. So these are the effects that I used. So the first one is this 40% halftime. Next, I added this bandpass narrow, cutting out the lows and the highs. Next, I went for this reverb intensity. I brought down the size and then made it more dry. After that, I added this one bar pan, the shaper box, and then I brought down the mix to 45%. And then finally I added this default sketch cassette and then I just changed the age and then I messed with some of these settings down here. All right, so the next sound is using this space preset in my analog lab bank. And this is the MIDI, it's the same MIDI as before. So for the effects on this one, I cut out the lows, boosted some highs, and then I tamed a little bit of this resonance. Next, I went into the shaper box, put it on a two bar pan, and then I put the mix to 64%. Finally, I added this chrome comp preset from Sketch Cassette. All right, this next sound is crazy. I'm gonna play how it sounds originally and then show you what I did to it. So this is the original MIDI. So to make this MIDI, I copied the chords and then I did Alt A to open up this arpeggiator menu. And I changed these settings until I got it sounding how I wanted it. And then what I did to make it sound more interesting is I added this automation clip on each note and you can see it basically just fades out and then at the end it goes up a little bit. It changes the sound a lot and I'm just gonna play it solo so that way you can hear what it's doing. So for effects on this one, I have this reverb intensity. Going into this default sketch cassette, I changed the age and then some of these settings again. And then finally, I have this panning shaper box with 48% mix on one fourth beat length. So the next sound that I added was just this regular art. So for this next sound, I used this Half-Life preset from my Analog Lab Bank, and this is what it sounds like. To make these, I did the same thing. I just added the chords, changed it to about this length, and then I did Alt A, and I brought up the range, so that way it would shoot up a few octaves. These are the effects I added. I added this EQ, cutting out the lows, and then boosting some upper mids. And then once again, with this reverb intensity. After that, I used this EQ to boost some more of those upper mids, and then cut some of the highs. And then finally, I added Soothe 2, just to get rid of some of the resonance. This next sound I added is from the pads folder of Balkan Ethnic Orchestra in Contact. It's this Alien Samo Diva preset. I don't know how you say that. But yeah, this is what it sounds like. It's just a texture in the background. For effects on that, I added this Good Hertz Low High. Going into this panning shaper box, I set the length to eight bars, that way it's the full length of the loop. And then I brought the mix down to 67%. So after that, I wanted to fill up the low end of the melody a little bit. So I used this preset from Noir Pure in Contact. It's under the Particles folder, it's called Charmer Meets Mallets. And it's just following the root notes of the progression. This is what it sounds like. For effects, I just cut all of the lows and then boosted these mids. And then I did some more of that EQ on this channel EQ and I boosted some highs as well. All right, so the next sound I added is the sub bass from my analog lab bank and this is what it sounds like. So 
So once again, just following the root notes and then I knew at the beginning I wanted to pitch this up an octave, but I felt like just the octave was a little bit too sharp. So I added this fifth in the middle just to make the transition a little bit more smooth. I kept it simple. I added this decapitator on the E preset and I changed some of these settings. And then after that, I added this God phaser with the 16 stage phaser preset and then I brought the mix down. So the last sound that I added was this perk loop from only one. And you can see I automated the volume for every two bars. And this basically just lets you control how you want the sample to bounce. If you want some parts of the perk loop muted, but other parts accentuated, you just have to add an automation clip like this. A couple effects on the perk loop. I added this band pass narrow and then this panning shaper box left and right. And I also cut out some lows on the channel EQ. And this is what the perk loop sounds like. So after I had all of the sounds done, I bounced them all out into audio files and then I messed with them some more. So if you listen to this key right here, you can hear like a reverse part at the end. I thought it was pretty cool that that was in there. So I decided to add that in the other sections. I wanted it on this instrument. So I chopped up the last half bar and then I right clicked on it and I hit make unique a sample and then I reversed it and then brought the in knob up some. And this is what that part sounds like now. And also make sure you put your declicking mode on generic so that way it doesn't click. I did that same thing with the lead sound. Super fire. So yeah, after that, I basically just structured out the loop and then I added some master effects. So I bounced it all out and then pitched it up three semitones. And then on the master, I put this soothe too to get rid of some of the resonance. Next, I put this wow control, just giving it a little bit of detune. And then I brought the analog noise gain down. Next, I added this plugin called tape, just giving it some tape saturation. Next, I added fresh air just to boost some of the highs and give it some more clarity. After that, I used mid side matrix, boosting the sides quite a bit. And then finally, I just gave it a little bit more gain with this limiter. So yeah, that's how I made the loop. Now I'm gonna put it into a new project file and make a beat real quick. All right, so I just dragged this loop in this new project file and I'm gonna start making the beat. I set the BPM to 161, just like I did the sample. And then I just added this master preset. I have this fruity parametric EQ, boosting 3.2 on the highs, 1.6 on the mids, and 3.2 on the lows into this default fruity soft clipper. And yeah, I'm just gonna start adding some drums. All of these drum sounds are from my drum kit, Noah Cuz Essentials Volume 1. You can get it from the first link in the description. If you want a little bit of a discount, you can get $10 off using this code that's on the screen right now. The code's only available for the first 10 people that use it, so make sure you go get it quick. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started on this beat. All right, so I have this really simple drum bounce going. Now I'm gonna add some hi-hats. I'm gonna use Chase Vibes new Vibes hi-hat MIDI kit, volume three. You can get it on Drumify. His hi-hats are crazy, so hopefully I can find something in here.
yeah, that's the whole beat. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, my new antimatter analog lab bank is going to be dropping Monday the 16th. I'll be dropping another video around then anyway, so you won't miss it. But yeah, all these drum sounds that you heard in this video are in my drum kit, Noah Cuz Essentials Volume 1. You can get it from the first link in the description. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram at Noah Cuz. Subscribe to Split Mind and let me know in the comments what you want to see next. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.